guys. So I wanted to quickly show you what is in my June birch box. Mine is a little late this month because, um, as I'm sure a lot of you know, I got married. And when you get married and you decide to change your name, you have to go through the process of changing out all your credit cards. Um, so I had a little billing issue with Birchbox, but um, we got it resolved and I did get my Birchbox, which is a little bit delayed. So for those of you who don't know about Birchbox, it's $10 a month. It's a subscription service where you receive four to five handpicked samples. I'm going to put a link to Birchbox down below for those of you who want to check it out. This is actually my one year anniversary with Birchbox. Um, I did my very first, one of my very first YouTube videos was my June 2011 Birchbox. Um, so I have been with them for a full year now, which is really exciting. Every month your Birchbox is going to come like this and it has a card that tells you a little bit about the theme of that month's Birchbox and then it gives you information about the products that are in there and it tells you how much a full size version of that product costs. So I'm just going to go through the list of products and I'll tell you a little bit about each one. The first thing that I immediately noticed is this mod cloth headband, which is really cute. It looks like Minnie Mouse. It's the traditional um, kind of what you would think of as like a pinup girl. That's really cute. That's the lifestyle extra in this month. So that was, that'll be really cute. I'm so excited we're going to Amelia Island in Florida for the 4th of July. So that would be so cute. Actually, that would be perfect for 4th of July because it's like red and white. I think we're like a navy dress. Pretty awesome. Okay, the next thing is... Ooh, the Stila BB Cream or Beauty Balm, and it's supposed to be 10 in 1. And it's a primer, moisturizer, and a tinted um, cover, or a, you know, a, a primer and a tinted moisturizer, and it's supposed to give you a matte finish. So that's really cool. I've been very into BB creams lately. I've been testing out a lot, and I'm going to have a really big comprehensive review um, after I have some time to try out some of the BB creams that I have. So we have the Melvita Rose Floral Water. Is this the thing that Fleur de Force uses, the rose water? Um, I feel like it's something, if it's not this, it's something very similar to this that she uses as her toner in her skincare routine. Um, but I wanna see what this smells like because I heard it smells really good. Oh yeah, it does, it smells like, it smells perfectly like roses. Then there is the Staniac by The Balm which is really funny because I just got one of these for um, one of my friends for her birthday. Ooh, this is like a gel. Um, you know how like Benefit's Benetint is really liquidy? This one is way more of a gel. And the color of this one is Beauty Queen. So that's really cool. So this is a cheek and lip stain, I think. Yeah, cheek and lip stain. Um, and the last thing is this, it's in this cute little envelope. And it's called Juliet Has a Gun, and it is a non-perfume, which I think is just a perfume. I, I think it's called Not a Perfume because it's supposed to be only one note. It says it's a minimalist scent. Ooh. I actually really like that. It's supposed to, it's an amber, an amber type scent, and it's just really warm. And I love that because I love... Like amber scents and vanilla scents and like those really warm scents, especially when they're paired with um, kind of light fruity scents or floral scents. So that's really cute. That's what the little sample looks like. You guys know I'm a uh, perfume sample hoarder, so that's really... You know something I do with my perfume samples? I'm, I've meant to say this a couple times when I've talked about this, but sometimes if I get like a lot of perfume samples and I feel like I'm not going to use them and I have a scent that I like... Um, but I just have, you know, one of these little samples of it. I will take a body lotion, an unscented body lotion, and put it in a little tub and put the perfume in there, mix it up, and then you have a really nice scented body lotion. It kind of stretches the perfume, and then you can just put that on um, in the mornings, and then you get a, it's a more subtle scent, but you still get that really nice scent, and you get to moisturize your skin at the same time. So that's a little tip for those of you who have a lot of perfume samples like me, and you're not sure how you're ever going to use any of them. Um, you can use them to kind of scent some body lotion. All right, guys, so that is my June Birchbox, my one-year Birchbox anniversary. So um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.